guys, this is CT with my recap of Mississippi State and Texas A&M. Whew, man, what Mississippi State is looking damn good right now, man. What has gotten into those boys down in Starkville? I don't know what it is, but they look very good offensively and defensively. Uh, but especially offensively, Dak Prescott, man, as far as I'm concerned, he is uh, leading the race for the Heisman right now. And uh, how's, how did Mississippi State get this good all of a sudden? I was I was expecting them to be good this year, but I was not expecting them to be this good. I don't think anyone was, including Mississippi State fans, because I talked to Mississippi State fans, and they didn't sound confident they'd be they would be this good right now. But um. I, I understand why oh, Ole Miss is good. You know they've done a really good job recruiting the past couple of years, but Mississippi State uh, they haven't done a bad job recruiting, but they haven't had you know top five recruiting classes like Ole Miss has. But man, they they found some guys somewhere. You know they're developed they're developing them. But uh, and, and to think, uh, let's get to the actual game. Uh, the game starts out with A and M actually. Uh, Driving the ball all the way down the field, scoring a touchdown, seven nothing, and from that point on, it was an entirely different game. Uh, A&M never could stop Dak Prescott in this uh, Mississippi State offense. Uh, mainly throwing the ball, they ran the ball on too. Let's look at the stats real quick. I haven't looked at them yet. Yeah, A&M uh, rushed for 280, or passed for 279. So pretty bounce straight down the line. They threw it and they ran it. Very very difficult to stop. Uh, 559 total yards and uh, and then pass for 365 and uh, 526 total and uh, Kenny Hill threw uh, a lot of picks. Uh, they turned the ball over three times. Mississippi State actually turned it over twice. Didn't know that. Uh, Time possession pretty even, and uh, a and actually got more first downs. So looking at the uh, stat sheet, it's hard to tell where the uh, the uh, 17 point difference came into play, uh, but it did. And um, a lot of this yard stuff I think came in garbage time. I think is what it is. But uh, man. Uh, just such the, the balance on offense is really what stands out to me for Mississippi State, and uh, I, I wasn't as high on A and M as people were. People were really basing A and M's, you know, how good they were off of one game, and that was the South Carolina game. And we see now that that really wasn't all that impressive because South Carolina has not looked good at all since then, uh, except for the Georgia game. But um. Man, uh, A&M just could not stop Mississippi State to save their lives, and uh, Mississippi State could stop A&M, you know, sometimes. But uh, A&M got theirs, but they lost this game because of their defense. There's no question about it. Um, maybe A&M's, A&M's defense has definitely improved over the last year, but it's not elite or anything like that. Uh, I still think a a good team. I think they're about like last year, you know. I think they're about a three-loss team or so. Uh, maybe maybe, maybe four, maybe two, you know, somewhere in that area, you know. But uh, I don't see them winning the West now uh, with the schedule they got. They got to go to Auburn. That's going to be a loss. Uh, they play Ole Miss this week at home. I, I actually think they're, they're – I actually think they probably will win that game. I'm going to pick them to win it. Um, they still got Bama on the road. It's gonna get tough, man. And uh, Mississippi State, man, they're really looking good right now. They're ranked third in the nation now, and for the first time ever, Mississippi State and Ole Miss ranked in the top five. And I don't remember Mississippi State ever being ranked this high ever. And this is really surprising because they're always known as that team that's just right there. You know, that seven, six, seven, eight win range can't really get over the hump and beat. The good teams. You could argue they haven't beat a great team yet. Uh, they're gonna get a chance this Saturday, but uh, we'll see what go how it goes, man. Uh, to this point, they've been as impressive anyone in the country, though. Uh, as they went down to LSU and they were winning big. LSU ended up coming back, almost actually won the game. 
but this win was their most impressive, and uh, Starkville was really loud for this game. I heard the I, I heard cowbells in my sleep last night, and it was just an impressive uh, environment, an impressive performance all around by Dak Prescott. And uh, man, who was that receiver? Uh, Jamie Lewis actually did not play that game, and uh, that's, that's even more impressive uh, if you think about it from that aspect. Was it uh, Deronia Wilson? Was it Fred Brown? The dude with the dreads, he's a pretty big receiver. <clears throat> I I want to say it's Wilson. Pretty sure it's who it is. But he looked really good in this game, man. They got weapons all around. And uh, they got a good offensive line. They got, uh, they got a good defensive line. They got some good linebackers. And their secondary was the biggest question coming into this game. And they played pretty well. Uh, they still gave up. They still gave up some, but they played pretty well. So uh, that's still probably the weakness of their defense. But uh, there's no really glaring weakness with this team. And I, I say the same thing about Auburn. I haven't done my recap of the Auburn game yet, which I'm about to do here in a second. But the, these two teams look probably the most impressive to me so far. Uh, I think. They've been the best two teams so far. They probably should be ranked first and second. And I don't see a glaring weakness on either of these teams. But if there is one on both of them, it's probably the secondary. But, man, they both look really good. It's going to be an outstanding game. Can't wait to talk about it. Uh, but, yeah, Mississippi State gets the win 48-31 to over A&M. We'll see where this goes from here. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you all later.